Yeah, that's it, that's it. Me now, my I need you. I need you. I need you. Ooh, I need you. 
Actually, the first five verses. And he entered again into the synagogue. And there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him. Whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he said unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked around about them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. <laughs> and the man obeyed, and he stretched it out. And his hand was restored whole as the other. I want to talk about just for a short period of time. I'm at work in it. So stretch it out. I'm at work in it. So stretch it out. Tell your neighbor, stretch it, stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Father, we ask that you have your way. Your word is already blessed. Bless the hearers and the Holy Ghost have your way. You are the greatest preacher in the entire world. Have your way this afternoon is only you can do. Let morsels and drops of your frame of word hit the spirit of the listener that their lives will be changed and impact forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. I'm at work in it. So I need you to stretch it out. I, I, I'm at work in it. So stretch it out. This afternoon, God wants to uh, share uh, something with us and it's in the form of a charge. It's in the form of a commandment. It's in the form of uh, uh, a, a charge, uh, an admonishment to tell us that he wants us to stretch it out or uh, stretch out or, or let it go or release it. Now, when we look at this particular passage of scripture in Mark, we, we, we come upon a situation where the Bible says that Jesus comes into the synagogue again. So he, the synagogue is, is that day and period's church. So he comes into the church. And what's interesting about this particular text, when he comes into the church, he finds a man in the church who has a withered hand. Well, now that wouldn't necessarily seem strange to us in this day and age because the church we have heard is a hospital. It's, it's where the withered, the tattered, the torn should come to find help. However, when we look at this particular passage of scripture, this, this man with the withered hand was at the right place, at the right time, but the religious people at the right place thought that, uh, yeah, he's withered and he needs to stay in his condition because of the time period. It was the Sabbath. And so here we, 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 we see this man, he's at the right place, he's at the right time, but he had some naysayers. Have you ever experienced some naysayers when you went to the house of God to get what you needed from God, but you had some naysayers that said, oh, oh, look at her and how short her dress is and, and look at her and, and, and how torn her, her pants are and, and look at him and he has alcohol on his breath. They came into the house of God in the right place 
at the right time, but you had the religious folk who say, oh, you, look at that, that's a shame. How could they come into the house of God like that? But this is the hospital. This is the place the drunk should come. This is the place that the wounded should come. This is the place where the bleeding should come. So the man has a withered hand. He's in the house of God. And the religious people are waiting to see what the physician's going to do. 